I don't know what term to call a black person that doesn't feel like, Ugh. you know, particularly when somebody that's not black calls you that. But isn't it annoying? Like what? Black American. There's a black American. Why can't I just be American? African American. That just sounds just off. Negro. That's a hell no. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. We got to Why that guy? Check out the full podcast. Link below. We've talked about Tyler before on the podcast as it relates to potentially being the next Beyonce. There you go. Or Rihanna. Absolutely. And so she's obviously released um, new music since that time that we've uh, had that discussion. Well, recently she was on the Breakfast Club uh, talking to Charlemagne and uh, Friends, DJ Envy and uh, Charlemagne. <laughs> 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 They're his friends, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <I think>. Probably. <laughs> and uh, she had a very awkward moment, man. And uh, I'm sure you guys probably seen it, but if you guys did not, the topic of whether being considered color colored in uh, South Africa versus black, um, you know, what does that mean, essentially? And Charlemagne was asking her, and she literally stared at that man with a blank face, turned right back around to her manager or label person, and the and you could hear the label person in the back say, um, "Yeah, we're we're not going to answer that. Uh, can we move on to the next topic?" Mm. And Tyler looked back at Charlemagne and didn't say a word. And Charlemagne started laughing, like, mm. "Oh yeah, we got him. We're gonna keep that in the interview." Mm. And shortly after that interview aired, Tyler came on Twitter, mm. aka X, and issued a long letter to her fans basically explaining why she has no problem being considered colored because in south africa it, it's not as derogatory as it may seem and this that and the third but she did say i consider myself black but i also consider myself colored mm. now i got a question for you uh oh here we go we've had the discussion about blackness and uh or defining blackness and all that other stuff on the pot man we've been talking about a lot of stuff on the pot sure. man if you guys ain't stuff, tapped man. in it's y'all make stuff. sure to really tap in we've been having some very broad discussions which i think are good but for me for you colored mm. do you consider that derogatory in 2024 <sighs> what are, what are, should somebody still be considering the self color colored ah yikes ah what you are your know, thoughts on that awkward moment just in general? You know what's funny? <laughs> and you probably agree with this. I don't know what term to call a black person that doesn't feel like, Ugh. you know, particularly when somebody that's not black calls you that. Like, think about it. Like, if somebody calls you African-American. Hey, yeah, I was talking to an African-American man the other day. Uh, I was talking to a black person the other day. Uh... No, see, black persons that you just can't say blacks. Yo, a <laughs> white person. Black. Yo, no, I've heard people. Say, hey, all you white people out there, y'all gotta stop I've saying heard, blacks. I've heard people, you know, black, and then you say it don't work. You say like it's it's isn't it just it's, it's annoying. I I, I I hate to deviate a little bit, but isn't it annoying? Like what black American? There's a black American. Why can't I just be American? So that doesn't sound right. African American. That just sounds just off. Uh, Negro. That's a hell no. Bro. <laughs> and then there's colored person where it's like they, that's what they back in the day they used to call people black people colored Bro, all the time on the weigh-ins right? intro we're colored they jokingly and, say we're colored we're, we're happy colored. and we're singing and we're and colored I, I, Come it on just now. sounds goofy to me like i don't even have any type of like super wise comeback mm. it just sounds goofy to call somebody colored in 2024 mm. but the thing going back to the tyler interview for mm. me the thing is you know, race in these other countries, some, it gets really sticky out there. You know, when you talk about race and colorism in a lot of these other countries, it gets sticky. And, you know, I believe South Africa is one of those places that, like, colorism is actually a really, really difficult topic for people. Like, to the point where it's racism. Like, I mean, racism. South Africa is one of the most captivating places <laughs> when you think about it. White people in Africa, that alone is just crazy to me. Like, it's a, you know hey, what I bro. mean? So, you know, when you talk about the colorism in South Africa, <laughs> like, you know, how many times, how weird is it when you hear some a white person say, yeah, I'm South Af- I'm African. Bro, no, you ain't no damn African. It's crazy. But it's true. They're African. So, you know, I, I, I just think, you know, in that situation, did Tyler do the right thing? Uh, probably didn't look right, but 
I just personally don't know the politics and the situation around how they view, you know, black people there as much as here. Hey, look, man, it, it, I'm not, look, this is not the, um, we're not going to do the racial Olympics. Mm-hmm. So that's not what, that's not what this is about. We're not doing no competition of who, who's more racist, <laughs> but I'm just here to say that South Africa and the apartheid mm-hmm. history that they have gone through yeah. with Nelson yeah. Mandela fought to yeah. uh, abolish, which he ultimately was very successful. They threw him in jail though, which mm-hmm. y'all need to look that For up sure. as well. So yeah. South Africa has a very long history of r- some really, really bad stuff towards black people. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I, I just think the topic of blackness, uh, the term colored, bro, that joint is, it's really, it's really delicate, especially when you start talking about um, people from South Africa, mm-hmm. because um, Tyler, she basically highlighted how she has a lot of mixed ethnicities in her, right? Yeah. It's, it's like her dad know, she said looks, like Irish, she said like I was gonna say a her dad, bunch of different things. Her dad things. looks South Asian. Okay, I didn't even you know, know what that. I mean. Or- so. So I just think they got their whole, they got a whole yeah. other thing going on there mm-hmm. that we as Americans might not necessarily mm-hmm. quite understand, but it is kind of similar to mm-hmm. the racial element here. Mm-hmm. As, as, as a whole, though, I just feel like an, she should have been able to answer that. That was a mm-hmm. that was an opportunity, I believe, to uh, address something really delicate, mm-hmm. but really just show um, that that the convo is something that is worth worth you know talking about. Um, now, granted, she's early in her career, media training. She might, you know, be able to do that in the future. But I just feel like that was a bit of a missed opportunity, in my in my opinion. Well, you know, to defend her a little bit is, you know, Charlemagne be blindsiding folks. <laughs> like when you get on these interviews, he be blindsiding folks. Yo, you know that's true. Apparently, they gave him a list of questions not to ask. And that yeah, was oh, really? He and that was, and he still asked yeah. it. He be blindsiding folks, and you know. It's almost like kind of like circling back to this Caitlin Clark topic. It's like when she did the interview and people didn't agree with what she said, it's like, do y'all expect these people to be Martin Luther King? Like, th- there's a reason Martin Luther King was special. There was a reason why Malcolm X was special is because mm-hmm. they knew how to, you know, address how they felt. They were willing to address, you know, how they felt. They were into, uh, it, um, uh, intimate with what the, the things that they were saying. We can't expect every single, just because she's an artist, that she's supposed to know how to talk about this in a way that, you know, is productive. Fair enough. She's 21, 22. Like, of course she's going to learn. I expect you to learn. But, like, yo, like, not everybody should be asked such a loaded question. That's a loaded question. When you talk about black people, when we talk about talking about race, Mm -hmm. we, us, the black community, we expect people to always say something profound profound (laughs) you know what i mean and i'm i'm always ready to and i'm always down to yeah but we can't demonize especially somebody who's not american you know and that's going on an american platform Mm. to feel the same exact way as a black person in america we got to give people more leeway more like Everybody ain't Martin Luther King, you know what I mean? That's what made them special. Well, you know what I'm saying? Look. You don't even got to be Martin Luther King. I mean, but but you know what I mean? Like we got to give some of these people leeway. Man, look, look, come on. I, I, but I I hate how the bar is Martin Luther King. Why why why, why do we have to? Okay. Why do we have uh, to compare someone to Kyrie? One of the everybody's greatest not Kyrie. civil rights. How about that? Come on, man. Everybody's not Kyrie. Who's very like? Okay, I like intimate, I like that more. Very like <laughs> careful with his words. Okay. Very understanding of who he is. Sure. Which is a beautiful. I want to reiterate. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But come on. Well, look. I look to close. That's why I was very careful with my words. I didn't say it was a problem. I just said it was a missed opportunity. No. Uh, yeah. It was a missed opportunity mm-hmm. to kind of address something that is a very important topic mm-hmm. that people, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to her testimony mm-hmm. on that platform. Mm-hmm. But that's it. That's all. I, I, I'll no, stop fair, there. Fair. No, fair. You know what I'm saying? Fair. What do you guys think, though? Uh, do you, Was it distasteful? What are your thoughts on just new artists not being able to, like, answer tough questions that's a tough that's is, a is that bro I, that I is it. a loaded question but it's how her, do you feel about but it's her lived experience to play yeah, devil's but, advocate the other side mm-hmm. it's her lived experiences it is she's speaking from experience as a quote-unquote colored person yeah. from south africa but, her, but she should be able to speak to but, that right but, let's but, not you know, baby people but when you're talking about at the same time but you're also for because it, what if she gives an answer that's like i didn't see that you're gonna 
But that's what negative. The, but that's what the label people are trying they're to be they're like. Trying to, they're trying to guard her know, from that. Maybe she didn't grow up feeling that way. Hey, bro. Because she had different cultures apart. Like you know, I'm just. It's, I get it. It's almost like you know, people killed Lil Wayne when Lil Wayne said, "Yo, I never thought." You know, I never saw racism or something like that. he said. Because he said a which white cop crazy. saved his life. Because a white cop saved his life, right? Yeah. Which is a crazy statement it's to say. Unreal. Oh, uh, yo, dude, you should pay attention. Mm -hmm. But it's like, if he's literally saying I haven't seen it, I mean, does that mean something? I I personally am like, yo, you had you had to have seen it. Okay, look. But that's his experience. Let's see. See, does look, your experience matter? Once again, I, I would actually. There's no disrespect to Wayne. Cause I love Wayne. Oh, here we go. I love Wayne, bro. Wayne is my guy. You're doing what Stephen God damn does. right. He's an activist. <laughs> he's a brother from the community. Uh, he's one of the greatest rappers of all time. But I'm gonna tell you right now. You know how you was bringing up Martin Luther King, and I say, "Yo, stop with the bar." <laughs> Lil Wayne is probably on the opposite side of that spectrum. Listen to the full episode. Link below.